Election ballots suspiciously up in flames in drop boxes in Portland, Oregon. It looks like there's some kind of uh, a device attached to the ballot box. And nearby in Vancouver, Washington, officers seen pulling out ballots still burning. We do have smoke coming out of the ballot box. Officials say hundreds of ballots at this location have been damaged. Authorities releasing this image they say is the suspect's Volvo, intensifying the search for the person behind this. These incidents believed to be tied to a third ballot box fire earlier this month. Investigators say all started by incendiary devices. I'm not taking any chances. Some people deciding to vote in person after hearing about the incidents. I just wanted to make sure that our vote got counted counted in that we didn't have to um, like get a new ballot or anything. It comes as Homeland Security officials issue a new warning that domestic radicals are posting threats of violence toward election officials or infrastructure to prevent perceived fraud or to retaliate against it. The issue putting law enforcement agencies and election officials across the nation on alert. We're being very vigilant here to make sure that we're prepared and that we're focused on making sure that every eligible voter has the opportunity to cast a ballot in this election and have that ballot counted. In Los Angeles, election leaders and the sheriff's office outlining their security plan for election night, which includes canines sniffing ballots for any suspicious substances, deputies transporting ballots from voting sites to the processing center, which will be under heavy surveillance. Uh, please know that although there are no credible threats, we will always be prepared to respond swiftly to any incidents or threats. 47 states have free ballot tracking services that allow voters to confirm if their ballots have been mailed, received, and counted. The envelopes have barcodes that can be tracked like packages. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.